Hello Leo, welcome and welcome back. We are gonna do a little reading for you to see what the messages are. So y'all be sure to subscribe, be sure to like the video. If the reading is resonating, y'all can put the crystal balls in the chat and that will be my way of knowing that it resonated for you, okay? You could put one crystal ball, you could put several. Whatever you want to put in the comments to let me know it resonates without having to tell all your business, that's a great way to go. Anything you guys need to know is below in the description box if you'd like a personal reading or to donate to the channel in any way. All of that information is below, you guys. Let's see what's going on for Leo. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Father, Mother, God, for Leo. What are the messages for Leo at this time? What are the messages for Leo at this time? Okay, so y'all are juggling. Y'all are going with the flow, though. You're balancing two different jobs or you're balancing two different businesses. Um, and you're kind of going with the flow at this time. You may be on an uptick or an upswing. You may be on a downswing. But you guys are mastering trying to go with the flow, okay? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus, possibly. Um, the King of Pentacles. You have a lot of experience, Leo. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. This could be your boss or your father. But I feel like it's actually you. I feel like you have a strategy to use your skills and to use your techniques that you've honed and crafted to basically like get something off of the ground or make it so that you're not having to have so much up and down like with your finances. Some of you, this could be one of your businesses. Like if you have multiple businesses, this could be one of your businesses kind of like having a downswing in sales or having a downswing when it comes to like um traffic or something like that and you're trying to maybe um put implement a marketing strategy or something but you have a plan as far as what it is that you want to do or this person this earth sign does okay you have a routine you stick to your routine it's like you have a strategy possibly to implement a new segment of your routine or a strategy to like go full force on a routine that you've been implementing already. But whatever you're doing, it's like you have your hand in a lot of pots or you have your hand in several pots, but I feel like you're very like focused. You could have strong Capricorn or Taurus energy in your chart. This King of Pentacles does not want to go back in the deck. What's the two of pentacles for Leo? The page of swords. What else is the two of pentacles for Leo? Interesting. So somebody is secretly watching you do this, Leo. Or you are watching someone do this secretly yourself. Um, Whoever this person is who's watching, they're not saying anything. I don't know what their intentions are, but they are hiding the truth. They have a truth or they have something that they say outwardly with the page of swords. Like whoever this person is who's watching you, they're trying to, they may be trying to practice what they're going to say to you, but they're not telling the whole truth. I don't know who this person is. It could be a Libra, it could be a Gemini. Maybe an Aquarius. It could be any air sign. But I feel like whoever this person is, they're hiding part of the truth. Part of the truth is hidden. Okay. Because they don't want to be disappointed. So they may not want you to find out that they are inexperienced. Or they may not want you to find out that they don't have a lot of faith in themselves. That they give up on themselves. That maybe they aren't as qualified as you thought they were. I don't necessarily think it's completely negative for all of you guys. For some of y'all, it is negative. For some of you, it's a situation where somebody has ill intent or they want to get revenge on you. So they're watching you to see how you move, to see how you flow, how you speak, 
Somebody could be trying to copy your speech patterns as well. But whoever this person is, it's like they're not as qualified as they make themselves look. Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords, yeah. Somebody has betrayed their emotions or they've sabotaged. that. Somebody could have sabotaged their mother or they sabotaged their sister or they sabotaged like a feminine energy in their life. Or this is a feminine energy who sabotages themselves and betrays their own emotions or betrays themselves for, I don't know, some type of gain that whatever it is that they want. They betray their emotions or they betray their intuition. They try to push down their intuition or they doubt themselves or something like it's something like that. Somebody is losing a grip on reality, I feel like, with their emotions or something like that. It seems like someone is very, they could be very guarded as well, but this is very interesting. I don't know who this is entirely talking about because not a lot of your energy has come out in this reading, Leo. So if this is about you, I feel like you're minding your business, like literally trying to make your business successful. And somebody's watching you do do that either because they're um, seeing you as a mentor or because they have some type of ulterior motives. Now, you could have an employee or someone who just lied about their resume and they're not as experienced as um, they tried to come off to be. I do feel like you guys need to focus on some type of spiritual practice, whether it's praying, meditating, talking to your spirit guides, ancestors, God, the universe whoever you believe in, whether it's having quiet time and turning off all your electronics before you go to sleep. Possibly this could also be getting more rest. Okay. But it's like someone has information, but they don't know how to use it. Um, and there could also be someone here who has information, but they haven't communicated this information as of yet. What's the page of swords? The King of Cups. What else is the Page of Swords for Leo? The Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So someone has a dream. Someone has a dream. Like literally, I have a dream, Martin Luther King. Like somebody has something that they want to say or they have some type of information. Maybe that they found in a dream as well. But there's an opportunity that a person has here to be very successful, to be very popular, to be very um, emotionally and mentally stable, the world, and then the Five of Cups. But there's something that is holding this person back. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of regrets. A cycle has come to an end in this person's life, and that's keeping them stagnant. Somebody cannot move forward or they may be dealing with some type of addiction or something like that. Someone could be an alcoholic as well. I don't know. You could be watching your mother or your father or a family member fight for their life to try to heal from some type of addiction, Leo. It looks kind of like a father-son dynamic here. You may have been yearning for some type of connection with your father that you did not have, whether you're masculine or feminine. But we saw the Queen of Cups. So this could have happened after your mother passed away or something. I don't know. Some There's a child here who's yearning for the affection of their father. And they try to offer this affection and the father may not necessarily respond. It's like they have a lot of love. Whoever the father of this child is, they have a lot of love for this child. But they, they're they very to themselves. Like they're very independent when it comes to their emotions. They have a lot of emotions for this child, but they don't express those emotions. So it may be difficult for them to do so. Very charismatic individual, but it's difficult for them to express their emotions. I, well, I don't think it's difficult. I just think they don't necessarily see it as 
important to express certain emotions like whatever emotions like like the king of cups is not bad it's like they're just more quiet observatory charismatic possibly very popular okay and it's like this child is sitting here like giving this parent an opportunity to open up or whoever this person is has an opportunity to open up but i don't necessarily think or know if they're gonna take it it's not that they can't open up it's like for them however this person who's the page of cups sees this individual like that person doesn't see it the same way as the page of cups so the king of cups doesn't see situations the same as the page of cups the Page of Cups feels like the King of Cups should open up in a certain way, but the King of Cups feels like that's unnecessary. That's kind of what it feels like to me. There's definitely somebody who's watching. There's somebody who's more mature than the other person, maybe older than the other person. This could be a younger sibling, a younger brother or a sister, or it could be like a, like a younger person who's approaching you. Like somebody could be offering to be friends with you, Leo, or presenting an opportunity of friendship or like, yeah, a very pleasant individual, but I feel like you're watching this person trying to figure out if they're genuine. What's the four of swords? The three of pentacles. Yeah, this could be someone who wants to work with you. Yeah, they could be they could be presenting you an opportunity for like collaboration. Or they they could be offering you a job. But it kind of feels like it's a a family member or a sibling who wants to work with you or partner with you or offer you a job. What else is the for? Oh. I'm telling you that wheel of fortune was in reverse then it flipped in the upright. That's crazy. Somebody's like, oh, it's time to work together. It's time to work together. But it's like, you're not sure if you, if you should take this opportunity. It doesn't, something about it. Either it's like, you don't trust this person or you feel like their head is in the clouds. Like you feel like they're, they're really dreamy or you may feel like they're an alcoholic. So like, why would you go into business with an alcoholic? Or you may feel like they're being unrealistic about things, but I feel like they're honestly very mature. They're just learning how to express themselves. They may not be able to express themselves the way that they would like so that you can understand what they're saying. Some of you could be moving forward and healing things with a coworker or a business partner. Yeah, balancing things out. This is like the universe. This is like karma, destiny, fate. What's meant to happen systematically within the atmosphere within astrology within the universe something is meant to be healed so if you're worried about healing things with a friend or you're worried about healing things with a coworker or a business partner uh, whether or not they're going to apologize and make something right whether or not you have to apologize and make something right it's going to be balanced out whatever this is king of wands and the two of cups yeah you guys are going to talk about it i feel like you want to talk about it and I feel like they want to talk about it too. But I feel like one of you has more experience than the other. One of, one of you is way more inexperienced than the other. So this may be your this may be your sibling. This may be your child. This could be your brother or your sister. But they're less experienced than you. And you just have have it's like you're trying to teach this person. You're trying to mentor this person. But sometimes they may not want to listen. Sometimes they may be hard-headed. But I think that you're trying to just go with the flow, Leo, and like keep the peace in situations. And I think that's the best thing for you to do. What else is this about for Leo, Green? Angels, Archangels, gratitude. Yep. Be grateful for who you have and what you have, Leo. It may be that this person needs to be more grateful as well. You are inspirational to someone. Yeah, even if it's a frustrating situation, because I feel like this person kind of gets on your nerves or it's like you may feel like they're too emotional. You may feel like they are 
You may feel like their emotions are a weakness. That could have been the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You may feel like this person's emotions are a weakness. Or you feel like their perspective on life is very dreamy and in the clouds and delusional. And you may see that as a weakness, but it might not be. It might be just that you're a certain way, which brings an aspect to the business or to the company or to the family dynamic that is very grounded, but this person brings a very inspired, endless possibility type energy that balances out the situation. Okay, what else is gratitude? Evil eye. See, that's what I'm saying, though. That's what I was feeling with this right here. Someone is wishing ill intent on you. I feel like you may work with several people. The person who I just described that balances out your dynamic is not the person who wishes ill intent on you. It's somebody else that y'all work with or something like that. But they're also inspired by you as well, but they're lying and doing some type of spell work or black magic or trying to manipulate situations. They're probably talking about you behind your back. Something is going on behind your back. They're lying or gossiping or doing something behind your back that you don't see. Maybe trying to um, turn people against you. Get people to go with them and choose them instead of choosing you. They could actually be using some type of dark magic, which I don't know. They could be saying prayers or saying things to hopefully like make you lose out on a situation. Spying on you. I don't know. They could even be a hacker with a page of swords. Like somebody could be trying to hack you by offering you some type of opportunity financially. I don't know. There's a lot of weird email. This could be like, you know, sponsorship emails. And then they come to like, oh, we love your channel. We love this. We love that. But it's like a hacker and it's like not the real company. And they want you to sign some type of contract. And they end up changing it and using your signature to like steal your business or something crazy. What's the advice for Leo? Oh my. The spirit fox. Trust your talents. And trust your talents in changing times. Leo, why your readings always be long, child? I don't think they always be long. I'm just talking junk. Um, okay, so this is the spirit fox. Let me see. Where is that at then? Oh, it might be right here. There it is, the spirit fox. So the spirit fox is considered to be, oh yes, snowflake. Girl laid out over there. The spirit fox is a sacred one in the definition of these cards. The message is to stay alert as change is in the air. And I feel like you're very adaptable, though. I do feel like you have a rigid set of, like, practices, like business practices or the way that you do things. It's like your routine is very rigid. Your strategy never really changes. And I don't think that that's bad. I think that that has gotten you a lot of success, Leo. But be mindful of it creating an issue. And don't allow it to be too rigid to where you're not being adaptable. Okay? It says, stay alert as changes in the air. The spirit fox features... Mm, the spirit fox features my favorite animal of the time, the red fox. An amazingly resilient creature able to survive in urban environments or the freezing temperatures of the arctic foxes know what is like what it's like to be hunted for centuries they have been sought for their precious fur when all they want is to survive so the spirit fox can help you overcome the energies of adversity and unfair treatment also as urban foxes hide in cities and go about their business in the darker hours the fox offers the medicine of blending in mm. 
it, uh, the extended message is the energies around you are changing at this time. And although it may not always be comfortable, you are equipped with all that you need to survive this shift. You are being presented with opportunities to reach spaces you've never encountered before. And this can make you feel on edge, but be open to the shifts occurring because they really are the answers to your prayers. The experience of being hunted or threatened is now behind you and you are being invited to come out from your den and reveal your glory and talents. Call upon Spirit Fox Medicine to help you be seen for who you are and trust in your talents in order to be the best you can be in these changing times. So Leo, I feel like you're good to go. I feel like you got everything you need. I feel like everything is working out the way it's meant to work out when it comes to your work, your business, your careers, what you're building, um, whether or not you've had to fix some things. You're maintaining in a very healthy, positive way. And there's a lot of balance that you have going on right here. But I do feel like there is someone in your midst. I don't know if it's a family member or, or a coworker or a business partner, but there's three people here, one of which I feel like you're in alignment with and it's a protected union. I feel like it could be a cancer. Okay. But there's one person who's not in alignment with you because they don't have good intentions for you and they're lying. They might be a Libra. They might be a Taurus. They might be a Capricorn or Virgo, but it looks strongly like Libra, possibly Capricorn. And I don't think you're talking to this person at this time. And I feel like they're watching you work with someone else, but whoever that is, they don't have your best interest at heart. So I hope this reading helps you guys. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe. Put the crystal balls in the chat, in the comments, actually. If the reading is resonating, anything else you want to let me know, be sure to leave a comment below, you guys. Anything you need to know about me is in the description box. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, Leo.